Arsenal are a club with incredible history and pedigree. The first members of the Football League from the south of England, the Gunners are the third most successful club in England, behind only Manchester United and Liverpool. With the likes of Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp and Alex James among their esteemed list of former players, some real legends of the game have strutted their stuff at Highbury and the Emirates. As always, there are exceptions, and here we celebrate them. Here are our seven worst Arsenal players of all time. Eddie McGoldrick. A lot of Arsenal fans pick for their club's worst ever player. Eddie McGoldrick takes seventh in our list. The retired winger played non-league football before and after his time at Arsenal. He spent five years in non-league football with Kettering Town and Nuneaton Borough before making an impression at Crystal Palace and earning himself a move to Arsenal. His time at Highbury was thoroughly unimpressive though. In three years he played 57 games, 33 coming in the league, and scored only once, as well as drawing the ire of fans by routinely taking set-piece duties from far more gifted players. He left for Manchester City in 1996, before spells at Stockport County and Corby Town. Igor Stepanovs Almost certainly the worst Arsenal player of the modern, or Arsene Wenger era, Igor Stepanovs had all the defensive howlers and catastrophes of Pascal Saigon, without any actual defensive qualities to compensate. The defender joined Arsenal from Latvian side Skonto FC for £1.35 million in 2000. Something of a panic buy by Arsene Wenger in the absence of his injured captain Tony Adams. In the four years Stepanov spent at Arsenal, he played only 17 league games. His Arsenal career effectively ended after the team lost 6-1 to Manchester United in a crucial game in the title race, in which Stepanov's was dreadful. Stepanov's played in Switzerland, Latvia and Russia following his Arsenal departure. Glenn Helder With a list that includes the likes of Mark Overmars, Dennis Bergkamp and Robin Van Persie, Arsenal have had some fine Dutch players over the years, but Glenn Helder was not one of them. He joined the Gunners in 1995, where he stayed for two seasons, being loaned out for one of them and playing 39 games in the other, scoring once. Following his loan to Benfica, Helder was seriously injured and upon his return he found he had been replaced by compatriot Mark Overmars and was now surplus to requirements. His career never recovered, having sporadic spells in China, Hungary and even the Dutch amateur leagues. Vince Bartram The worst goalkeeper in Arsenal history, Vince Bartram joined the club after impressing in the third tier with Bournemouth, where he spent three seasons as first choice goalkeeper. The step up from the third to the top flight proved too great though, and Bartram looked hopeless at Highbury. Brought in as an understudy to David Seaman, Bartram played only 11 games in four seasons, all coming in a single season, and he was laughably poor between the sticks. Most comical of all were his goal kicks, with Arsenal supporters ironically cheering any clearances of his which crossed the halfway line. Following his departure, Bartram joined Gillingham, where he saw out his career, spending six years in Kent before having his career cut short through injury due to a bizarre clash with the opposition goalkeeper Tony Warner. Mark Flats Mark Flatt's career trajectory after leaving Arsenal is a fairly good indicator of his overall abilities. He joined the Gunners in 1990, aged 18, and went on to make 10 starts and 8 sub-appearances for the club over a period of 6 years. In that time, Flatt was loaned out to Cambridge, Brighton, Bristol City and Grimsby. Not only did he fail to impress at Highbury, he looked incapable even at a lower level. Following release, he had a failed trial at Torino and ended up in non-league football with Bishop Stortford. His professional career had effectively ended at the age of 24, and he was widely considered one of Arsenal's worst ever players. Ian Sally, Another player whose post-Arsenal career spoke volumes. In the modern era, even those who fail at Arsenal tend to end up in respectable leagues overseas, or at least at a decent level of the Football League. Not in the mid-90s though, and Ian Sally was another fine example. The academy graduate made his Arsenal debut at 18, and by 20 he was in the England under-21 team, where he made three appearances. Unfortunately for Sally, the midfielder had a torrid time with injuries. He broke his leg at Arsenal and did so again with his next club Fulham, ending any chance of success at the highest level. In truth, Sally had looked way out of his depth before the leg break in 1996 though. His early promise had rarely shone at first team level, and following his second leg break his career fell off a cliff. Sally spent four years at Woking before sporadic spells with Lewes, Greys, Maidstone and more. Gus Cesar the worst player in Arsenal history, Gus Cesar also showed promise as a youngster, but looked utterly dreadful in the first team. He somehow managed to play more than 40 games for the club, and won three caps for the England under-21s, showing that he did have some talent and obviously impressed in training. On the biggest stage though, Cesar froze. He looked nervous, unsure of himself, and more often than not simply a liability. 
Cesar began to develop a reputation for making high profile and calamitous mistakes, and became increasingly unpopular among the Arsenal fans. The climax of this came in the 1988 League Cup final, in which Arsenal led 2-1 in the dying embers of the game, only for a mistake from Cesar to give Luton away back into the match. The mistake as good as ended his career at Arsenal, and his career in general, as he spent the majority of his post-Arsenal years playing in Hong Kong. Cesar was named Arsenal's worst ever player by club fanzine The Guna, and also ranked third in the Times list of the worst players in the history of the top flight. So that's it for our top seven. But honourable mentions go to Jeff Blockley, Jeremy Aliadier, David Hillier, Cabo Diawara, Jimmy Carter, Francis Jeffers, Paul Lydeson and Pascal Saigon. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.